Fudgeonics here. Guess what just came out? SSP Insanity of Feed the Beast. Oh my gosh, my timer is already started. I've got to get going. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be playing this map. I probably won't be uh, filming every single second. I'll just be doing updates on where I am, what I've done, what I've got accomplished. Um, I want to be able to just play this as fast as I can, not worry about having to comment any of it, or commentate everything, and uh, be able to enjoy this map. So. That's what I'm doing now. Uh, hope you guys uh, stay tuned in and watch. Um, let's see, I can't remember where I put the water. I practiced a long time ago. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I'll let you know how my cobble gen goes. Be right back. Been down to the nether, minute 16 in. Got all my stuff, heading back up. All right, all right. Had some sapling RNG, but I actually got one. Now we'll see if the cobble gen works. Get it in there. Perfect. The thing about this cobble gen is you can aim right at the co the uh, bedrock. Let's see. We have a transit table at ten minutes. All right, so my status for fifteen minutes, as I just break the wrong block, is uh, I've got wait waiting on saplings to grow. Basically, I went and got some uh, charcoal for some torches. I've got my Transmutation table, learn everything learned. Cobble dinner is working great. I've got about a stack and a half of cobble. I've laid down a little bit to expand my base. I've got two saplings there waiting to grow. Probably need to put my jungle tree down as well. Now that I've got transit table, I don't have to worry about losing it because most of the time those don't don't drop saplings if you just do the single jungle tree. Um, but I'm kind of waiting for either one of those to grow, and uh, I need a lot of wood so I can go down to the nether and build a small. Uh, killing platform for pigmen to get the gold nuggets. See you in a bit. So finally, after transmuting all my cobble into saplings, I got one to grow, one of these jungle trees. It's only taken, what, 11 minutes of farming cobble? Gotta love the RNG. But now I'm in, now I'm starting to get wood growing here. I'll be 
rolling in the MC. Jungle trees don't give saplings very much because they give so much wood. Oh, I got one now. Cool. I'm just gonna cut down the edges, and then anything else should fall onto my platform. Oh, I got two. Nice. All right, keep cutting down tree. All right, so I came down the Nether and ran out of blocks pretty quick, but I've got a good little uh, concentric circle thing going, so the mobs will fall down and into there, and then I'll build a platform made out of half slabs down there. Everything out here is topped with half slabs, so nobody, nothing can spawn except for on that brick. Get rid of extra ones here. Hmm. And then I block them just by this one. I can remove to go in there if I need to. I'm going to take out... Well, if one spawns there, I'm alright. Now I'm going to make that long swim. You see I put half slabs up here as well. Sometimes you get zombie pigmen because they spawn on these two obsidian blocks. You can't help that. Where's my water? Whoa, don't push me off the edge. You can see I just got a stone pick here because I don't want to go down there with my dark iron picks axe. I've been known to fall off those platforms really easily. So so far no deaths, which is cool. But I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go to the top. It takes like a minute to get up to the top, which really sucks. Okay, so I'm uh, just about finished with another spawner. I've got just got concentric circles here. The pigmen are already spawning. Um, I've just gone with full slabs at the top, and then I'm going to do a ring of half slabs around the outside to prevent gas from spawning. And uh, that should be enough. They won't be able to jump out of this, and I've prevented spawning everywhere else. So they should all be confined to this little area. They should fall down and then go through that little hole in the middle. And then below that I've got a platform them to land on. You can see I've already got some nuggets. And this takes about 10 minutes to build. You can see I started just before 30 minutes, and now we're just over 40. Okay, come on. Didn't bring my pick up here. And then I go ahead and usually fill in some of these every once in a while, just so I don't get um, zombie era ghasts. Just in case, I don't entirely know the rate or the uh, rules on gas spawning, but I do know that if I do this, I don't get any, and it doesn't affect the drop rate that bad. Whoops. Let's see, I was putting them on that one and that one. This one I can put on probably right in the middle. Okay, and then maybe one here and one there. And I don't think they'll be able to jump up. So I made it tall enough. If I can't jump up, they definitely can't. But now I'm stuck in here, aren't I? <laughs> Did I bring a pick? No, it's back in the chest. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, all done. So all that's left is to collect my loots. Looks like they're going a little wide right here, so I'm going to take this over since I have extra slabs. Cool. 
Cool. 43 minutes in, we have seven nuggets. I think I have more in the chest, enough for a gold bar. That is correct. Let's leave all that down there in case I need it. And I'm gonna wait for a couple more to die. I wanna get uh, enough for two bars. So that'll be 19, 18. The beast definitely looks pretty at midnight, all the twinkling of the underneath. I'm not sure if it's called Feed the Beast anymore, because that's not really beast, it's more like Feed the Pyramid. <laughs> I was hoping Slowpoke would make like a cool, like, big blob monster for the beast. That's what I suggested to him, but they went with a pyramid. It does look cool, it's just not a beast to me. Okay, it's time to get some iron. First, we need gold. Then we need iron. Okay. Next order of business would be to get to the beast to verify what we need as the first objectives. So that's where we need this guy's. I want to make another regular pick. And I'm going to wait till day, which is coming up, but until then I'm going to chop down trees. These things are a little tougher to cut down so they're tall. But they're very nice EMC. Oh, that was dumb to put a block there. Wow, that's a tall one. Wow, still going up. There we go. That's a lot of EMC for the cost of one sapling. All right, made it to the beast. So it kind of goes in order here. Story begins. Redstone Paradise, Burn Rubber, Bronze Age, Apiological Madness, Advanced Machines, The Rings, Items of Power, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Solar Power, Fires of Hell, Blood and Water, Power Ranger, Things That Make You Go Boom, Small But Mighty, Crap Ton of Energy, and Throne of Knowledge. 100 million EU. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of EU. Like we're gonna have to go nuclear. Oh, I was gonna see what the uh, story begins was. Okay, story begins color is purple. That's kinda just off to the left here. Okay, that's not right. That's blood, sweat, and tears. Burn rubber. Hmm. That is a power. Guess it's on the other side. Whoa! Don't fall off. 
That'd be funny if the uh, insane map was on hardcore. He died once you're done. The rings. What the heck? They did not color code this at all. The Bronze Age. Solar. No creepers here, right? Things that make you go boom. Nuke. Sticky diamond. Nuclear TNT. Yeah, that's not bad. Combustion engine. I love that one. Yeah, that goes boom a lot. Advanced machines. Redstone paradise. I don't think I even know how to make a vanilla clock. <laughs> yeah, biological madness. Okay, am I missing something here? Small but mighty. Did I miss one down here? No. Okay, let's go up to the third level. I would have color coded it personally, right? You know? So I could look at that little chart down there. Have. Power Ranger. Where the story begins. Okay, it is purple, but doesn't match that little chart. You could take a screenshot of this. Okay, so I went and got the requirements. I now need to build a screwdriver, chance table, auto crafting table, iron chest, stone bowl, project table, a jungle wood blob, block, a bunch of torches, and I'm not sure what the last one was because I didn't. I cropped my screenshot, but I've got the auto crafting table and a stone bowl. I can make a iron chest easily. I was trying to have the whole first thing done in the first hour, but that's not quite going to happen. It's going to be a little bit short. And I'll just put these items in the iron chest, right? Uh, stumble project table. Is that real stone? Okay, stone, wood, crafting table, chest. Crafting table, chest. Wood, and I need a few more stone. Okay, I'm getting close. Um, first hour's almost up. Get some more. Screwdriver, yes. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five items in the first hour. All right, sounds good, guys. We'll be back. Come back for episode two.